grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They'll soar high on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not faint. Jesus said, Come to all mothers and all children. He said, Come to the motherless and the childless. He said, Come to all who long to be mothered. He said, Come. Come on to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart and you will find rest for your souls. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before your holy presence to give you thanks and to celebrate the gift of your love. 
a love that supports, nurtures, and challenges us in ways that strengthen and transform us. We offer you praise and thanksgiving for your unfailing presence in our lives and all of the blessings that you so generously offer. Today, as we celebrate Mother's Day, we give thanks to, for mothers all over the world. We give thanks for all those who have nurtured and care for us, remembering especially birth mothers, adoptive mothers, surrogate mothers, aunts, grandmothers, teachers, neighbors, and all women who have shared their faith with us. We pray for those mothers who have been hurt, disillusioned, or disappointed in their role as mother. We pray for those who have been denied a long for chance at motherhood, and for those whose years of mothering have been cut short by the loss of a child. Father of us all, touch us with your healing peace and gentle embrace that we may walk in your ways bringing dignity, justice, and peace to all corners of our world. All this we pray only in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, now and evermore. Amen. out to 
Mother's Day to all the ladies of the church. I am blessed to share with you the word of God this morning. And it comes from the book of Titus, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. And it reads, But as for you, teach what befits sound doctrine. Bid the older men be temperate, serious, sensible, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Bid the older women Likewise, to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good, and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be sensible, chaste, domestic, kind, and submissive to their husbands, that the word of God may not be discredited. This is the word of God. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. The title of my message this morning is Shining Light of Our Home. My text is Titus 2, 1 to 5. Did you know that Mother's Day we celebrate in America and around the world for almost 106 years has its origin? It is started when Anna Jervis of Philadelphia, whose mother had organized women's group in America promoting friendship and health, upon her death, held a memorial service in her home church on May 12, 1907, in Grapstone, West Virginia. Within five years after that event, Almost every state began to observe Mother's Day. And so, during Woodrow Wilson's term, the 20th president made it a national holiday in 1914. As we gather today in worship and celebration, this a special day for mothers as well as all women, how would you like it to be celebrated? Would you like only to be a day of self-congratulations for achievements done in the home or a day of soul-searching that they might again have a new awareness of the vital role God has given them in their home, in the church, and the nation as a whole. I want to share this story. Every time I visit our son and his family in the Philippines, I made it a point to visit my departed parents' gravesite not too far from my son's residence. One time when I was there, 
I decided to stroll around the memorial park. I happened to pass by a epitaph with a statement that I will never forget. It states, our shining light in our home. Isn't that the way every wife and mother should be remembered as a shining light in the home? How does a mother achieve such a noble description in her home? It does not mean that mothers need to be bright and smiling all the time. However, it means that every mother, by God's grace, provide the warmth and light every home needs. Our scripture text, Titus 2, 1 to 5, embodies the role of women. How mother and wife should be. Paul who wrote this was concerned about how Christians will be viewed by non-believers. And so Paul instructed Titus to give counsel to the early church in Crete, the island along the Mediterranean located in Asia Minor, presently known as Turkey. He sets responsibilities for all those involved in the life of the early church, especially for women, both young and old. He gave much attention to advise women, for he strongly believed that the mother is the most important person in making the home what it ought to be. What are the necessary characteristics that we can get from Paul's instructions for mother to become a shining light in the home. What must a mother do to fulfill her Christian responsibilities? Paul listed this advice for mothers to put into practice. One, Titus 2, 3 states, women should be reverent in behavior as he goes about her duties at home. In other words, she should act in a holy or priestly manner. She should think of her home as God's temple and all that the service she renders is sacred in the eyes of God. How nice it is to see a poster in every home that states divine service performed daily by mothers. Second, mothers should be watchful of their tongue. Of, of their tongues. Paul advised in Titus 2 3 that women should not be slanderers. As matured Christians, they must not be given to gossip, repeating vicious and unfounded charges against others not to be false accusers, saying these things, Paul was literally telling them not to act like the devil. Billy Sunday, most influential 
evangelist in 1980s said, God saved us from women who are angels in the church and devils in the house. A woman cannot be the shining light in the home unless she controls her tongue. Lastly, Paul said, mother should be a teacher. As Paul count, continue in verse 3, women should be teachers of good things. Women should be teachers of good things. They are considered the greatest teachers of the world. As someone said, an ounce of mother is worth a pound of preacher. Behind a successful individual is a great mother. One example is Susanna Wesley, who gave birth to 19 children, one of whom is John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement. It has been said that Susanna, as a mother, see to it that each child was taught to read and write at age five, boys and girls. She observed time for education from 9 noon and 2 to 5 p.m. Susanna Wesley even said, it is almost incredible what a child may be taught in a quarter of a year by a vigorous application. But what are the good things that mother should teach? According to Paul, women should be busy at home, meaning to be occupied with home duties. Second, teach kindness in the home, for the Bible says, be kind to one another. And thirdly, he said, mother should teach her family about God's love and express love to her family in every opportunity. Such affection starts at the very heart of every Christian home. According to Paul, if Christians ignore these teachings, the gospel will be maligned and discredited by non-believers. It is therefore the duties of the early church in Crete particularly the women of the church, to protect God's revelation from propagation by living wholesome lives. Since the beginning of time, mothers have a vital role in our lives. Mothers has a vital role in our lives. Every home needs the warm affection and shining light that only a godly mother can bring. So I say now to the mothers, let your light shine in the home 
let your light shine in the home that they may see your good works or deeds and glorify your father in heaven mother make your light shine make it shine make it shine all the time praise be to god amen a mother's love there is no love like a mother's her heart is filled with care with christ has her example her savior's love she'll share A mother's love is endless, not changing for all time. When needed by her children, a mother's love will shine. God bless these special mothers. God bless them every one for all their tears and heartaches and special work they've done. When days on earth are over, a mother's love lives on. Through many generations, God's blessings on each one. Be thankful for our mothers who love with higher love from power God has given and strength from up above. Let us thank God for his priceless gift. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 15. Let us pray. O loving and redeeming God, we thank you for the salvation brought about by the death and the resurrection of your son, Jesus. Thank you for nurturing us through your word and the witness of faithful disciples. Fill our hearts with your holy spirit so that we might speak boldly of your mighty acts let our tithes offerings and love gifts including that of our spiritual sacrifices be acceptable to you this we pray through Christ our risen lord who sits on your right hand and governs our lives with wisdom power and love amen
Hello everyone. This is Nadine and I just want to say a simple message and I think uh, for me this is really important for all mothers to know that a mother can take the place of all others but whose place no one else can take. So for all mothers, whether you are the past, the present, and also soon to be mom, I would like to greet to you Happy Mother's Day and may your day be filled with love and joy and laughter. You deserve to be loved and I miss you all, everybody in HDMC. Bye. Mothers are loving, kind, caring, and thoughtful. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Mothers are patient, funny, adventurous, and will love you unconditionally. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Mothers are strong and capable. Mothers are to be cherished, to be loved, and mothers are wonderful. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. Mothers are the light of the world. Happy Mother's Day to the wonderful mothers of HTUMC. There is a saying in the Philippines that goes like this, Ina, ilaw ng tahanan, mother, light of the home. It is true because regardless how old, the children are. Mothers are always there shining their light to make sure that the children goes to the right path or right direction. But even if we choose as children, even if we choose to go a different path, mothers are still there to support us and uh, are ready to catch us if we fall. I love you mom. Happy Mother's Day to all the HTUMC moms. God bless you all. Moms are the people who knows us the best and loves us the most. Happy Mother's Day to all the mommies at HTUMC, most especially to my mommy, Lina Mendoza. Thank you for all you do and for all your love. This message is from Dr. Levi Del Rosario. The mother is the best creature that ever happened in this wonderful world. Love and give her anything you have to make her happy. After she is gone, do not ever forget the great, lovely memories and beautiful times you had with her. Honor and think of her as long as you live. Happy Mother's Day. Mothers are conscientious, immaculate, compassionate, scintillating, and they deserve more sleep. Mothers are the most beautiful beings ever created in this universe. Mothers care for us and they love us so much. Mothers are underrated. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. Mommy love me. <laughs> Today we celebrate Mother's Day. It's about time to express our love, our gratitude, and our appreciation to all mothers in the universe. A mother is our first friend, our best friend, and our friend forever. I would like to personally appreciate the queen of my life, my wife, Greta, who is being considered as a perfect living mother model for our kids just like before when we our babies were still small until today she still continues to sacrifice herself waking up in the morning to prepare food for our kids especially Kukui who is leaving for work early in the morning for a mother family is always first Safety and security of the family is always important to her. In times of joy and sorrows, 
the mother is always there with her shoulder to lean on. So in behalf of the United Methodist Men of the Houston Trinity United Methodist Church, I salute all mothers in the universe. Happy Mother's Day. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father, as we once again come to the end of this worship service, we continue to extend to you all our gratitude and thanks for giving us this wonderful moment of having a very beautiful experience of celebrating Mother's Day in our own respective homes. This is such a brand new experience, O Lord, yet the message, O Lord, and the essence of each celebration is actually where it should be, wherein the mothers is actually the light of the home, wherein they are the ones who leads the children in such a way that they will grow up in wisdom, in stature, and in favor both with God and with men. With that in mind, O Lord, it is our prayer for you to continue to bless all the mothers of our church, to continue the, to bless all the mothers of this world, and continue to bless every mother, O Lord, so that they may be able to do the tasks that you have allowed them to do, and that is to rear their children in accordance to your own will and in accordance to your own purposes. Today, O Lord, we also remember in our prayers all our daily departed mothers of this church. Thank you, O Lord, for the life that they have given to this church. Thank you, O Lord, for the moment wherein the daily departed mothers of this church, O Lord, was able to share their lives to us so that we may also be able to remember all those beautiful moments wherein they gave us inspiration in doing service and ministry in your name. Father, we also remember our own de departed mothers who have already gone to the place in the everlasting life. We remember them to O Lord, continually giving you thanks because you allowed them to share their lives to us wherein we are also able to remember those wonderful and beautiful moments of their being the mothers of our lives and the mothers of our family and the mothers of our own respective children. Lord, into the of your hands, we commend to you all the mothers of our church and all the mothers of this world. Father Almighty, today is also such a very wonderful moment to some of the members of our church. For one, we are welcoming the birth of baby Leah Zara, the first child of Joshua and A.C. Sacro. Thank you, O Lord, for the gift of life bestowed upon her. Thank you, O Lord, because we know that her life is giving beauty in the life of this family. It is our prayer, dear Lord, that you will continue to bless Leah as she grows up in wisdom, in stature, and in favor, both with God and with men. We pray, O Lord, for your blessings upon her and also upon her parents, so that her parents will also continue, O Lord, to be a light unto this child as she grows up in your wisdom. Lord, we also remember in our prayers, Anita, who will be celebrating her birthday this week. Thank you for the gift of life given her. Thank you, O Lord, for blessing that same life. And thank you because we know that you will just continue to bless her life more and more, not only on the very day by which you will be celebrating it, but even in the many, many days ahead of her. Into the life of your hands, O Lord, we commend to you, Anita. In the same manner, O Lord, we give you thanks 
for allowing Alleluia to be able to finish her doctoral degree at the U University of Houston. For the past eight years, O oh Lord, you have been with her since she started college and onwards to doctoral school. You have guided her, you have given her strength, you have given her wisdom, and more especially, you have given her that kind of faith that she could only trust in you in whatever that she will be doing in school and outside of it. Now that she is done, O oh Lord, and will continue to become a doctor in the field wherein she has chosen. It is our prayer that you will bless her more and more, and that you will continue to give her more wisdom and strength so that she will be able to pursue the task that lies ahead of her. Into the hand of your hands, O Lord, we also commend her unto you. Father Almighty, at this moment, we also remember in our prayers all our brothers and sisters who are sick, those who are uh, those who those who are having sicknesses because of uh, this co co because of this COVID nineteen, those who Lord are affected by this kind of disease, we lift them up in prayer, be with them, so that they may be able to get out of this strong enough to be able to continue on what they have left behind. To all those, O oh Lord, who are members of our church, who continues to be in us working as frontliners, it is also a prayer for you to please give them more strength and protect them, so that whatever it is, O oh Lord, that they will be meeting, we know that they will be so protected, so that they may be able to do the task that lies ahead of them. In the same manner, O oh Lord, it is our prayer that you will continue to protect every member of our church. You will continue to protect us from this kind of sickness that is disturbing our, uh, uh, disturbing this world. Father Almighty, let your Holy Spirit descend upon all of us so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we know that we will be so protected and will not fear on anything at all because we know that the blood of Jesus Christ has actually washed, uh, washed us and has already blessed us with it for us to be protected not only from the coronavirus but also from other sicknesses. And so dear Father, as we once again look forward for another week ahead of us, we pray that you will be with us all throughout this time, giving us the strength, giving us the wisdom, and giving us the desire to be able to once again meet in the church together with the rest of our members and continue to enjoy the fellowship that you alone could provide because you will be at the center of this all. Once again, dear Father, to you belong all the honor and the glory, even as we continue to honor and magnify your name now and evermore. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Baby Leah, Zara, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift out the countenance upon you and give you peace and joy and wisdom so that you will grow up in wisdom, in strength, in stature, and in favor, both with God and with men. Aning, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance upon you and give you peace and joy and love and strength as you celebrate your birthday and even until forever and ever. Alleluia. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance upon you and give you more wisdom and strength as you pursue the career that you have chosen in your life so that you will be of help to your fellow men. And now may the blessings of the Father Almighty, the love of His only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you all until forever and ever. Amen and Amen.
Though the tears may fall, my song will rise, my song will rise to you. Though my heart may fail, my song will rise, my song will rise to you. While there's breath in my lungs, I will praise you, Lord. In the dead of night, I lift my eyes, I lift my eyes to you. Though the waters rise, I lift my eyes, I lift my eyes to you. While there's hope in this heart, I will praise you, Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the darkness I dance, in the shadows I sing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When I cannot see you with my eyes, let faith arise to you. When I cannot feel your hand in mine, let faith arise to you. God of mercy and love, I will praise you, Lord. I you shine with glory, Lord of light, I feel alive with you. In your presence now I come alive, I am alive with you. There is strength when I say When sorrow comes my way, you are the shield around me. Always you remain, my courage in the fight. I hear you call my name, Jesus, I am coming. Walking on the waves, reaching for your light. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When I cannot feel your hand in mine, let faith arise to you. 